Well, hello there. It's time for the return of survival horror to DSP Gaming. It's been a bit. We had a real survival horror game. We had like a, a little interim game. Oh God, shadows, midtones, and highlights. I guess that's fine. Does that look fine? By the way, that music sounds loud, does it not? I'll need your guys' feedback on the, the volume level of the game, obviously. <clears throat> I guess we'll just hit okay. How do I? Back? Okay. Check out display. Performance or quality. I want performance. Sure, I'll have chronic aberrations and depth of field. I love those in my horror game. I don't know what it means, but I love it. <clears throat> oh, man. Motion blur? What do you guys think about motion blur? None. I don't want any motion blur. Motion blur is just... I hate it. It just bothers me. Yield of view. If you go all the way up to 90... <laughs> Higher values in the bulk can be an impact on performance. Let's do 75. Let's totally mess with it. Let's do 75 field of view. I just fucked the whole game up now. Master volume, sound effects volume. Subtitles. Aha, subtitle size large. Let's go for large. Okay. Alright. I don't know anything about Alone in the Dark. I never played them before. So we're gonna see what this is about. We'll do standard difficulty. Here, it even says with its intended difficulties. This is what they intend for you to play. Those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra systems, modern, extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier. Yeah, I'll take some hints. I'm a, I'm a, dun, a dummy. I'll take some hints. <laughs> so again, guys, let me know how, the, how the, the volume levels... What the shit? Let me know how the volume level sounds. Is it a new game? We don't know. The froggy. We have frogs out back right now who serenade us for the spring. I hear them if we're just sitting... Up. Oh, no. Froggy, look out! Oh! That's unfortunate. Eaten within the first seconds of the game, man. Come on. Poor frog. Well, that's an old-timey car. I assume this is not in the present day. Unless it's one of those weird people who likes to restore classic cars, right? <clears throat> alone in the dark. Except so, he's not alone. Him? And he's not What's in the dark. Wrong with him? He's possessed. Oh. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. I don't know if the size of the subtitles helps if it's so thin. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Possession. Deteriorating melancholy. <laughs> Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Whoa. Okay. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Hmm. Back then when smoking was cool. What do you mean? It's you not cool to be letter. dead? Come on. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to kill him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. So he's a detective, but who's Which she? Is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. Wow. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Wow, she's like a nihilist, right? <laughs> she doesn't care about anything. An ultimate nihilist. <clears throat> Nothing matters. Everything is shit. We're all just dust in the wind. Wow. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. But she's the, the niece and of what's the my person who thinks he's possessed. You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. <laughs> what a Debbie Downer character, right? Shit. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. 
You think it'll actually come to that? Yeah, I gotta murder the possessed guy. No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Uh. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? Shoot him! <laughs> I don't know. Let's just find him first. Shoot him around the nuts! Okay, now T pose. Both of you. That'd be amazing if they did it. Like, oh, fuck, we fucked up. Choose your character. Well, I mean, honestly, let's see the names first of all. Emily Hartwood, played by Joni Comer. And she's supposed to be the niece of the guy who thinks he's possessed. And here we have Edward Carnby, played by David Harbour of Stranger Things fame, also a failed Hellboy movie. But he doesn't like to talk about that. Don't mention it around him. Um, all right, I think we'll go with obviously with David Harbour because he's you know I know him from a show. It's kind of cool. I'm not saying that I don't like this actress. I just don't know who she is. I don't recognize the actress. So I'll go with the recognizable face. Plus, I'm a male. I associate him with more with him. We use the same restrooms. You know, we know we know what a urinal's like. So, all right, it has nothing to do with the game. <laughs> anyway, hello. Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. I like his hat. I wish I had a hat like that. I have a red fedora. I want a, I want a normal fedora style hat like that. I like that hat. Chapter 1. Breaking and entering. Chapter 2. Property damage. <laughs> Chapter 3, burning down the house. Okay, well, it runs at a smooth 60 frames right now, which is refreshing. Look at that. All right. They have a giant light on down here for no good reason. Here's their car. Looks like they don't go out too much, huh? <laughs> okay. Whoa. Look for a way inside the house. Oh, I, I have good positioning on my camera right now. It looks like the objectives will be in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. They're hanging the engine by chains. Is this how they used to work on engines? They would hang them from the ceiling. And then when the work on the engine was done, they would, like, use that track to position it in the car. I think that is how they used to do it, right? Well, I'm going to now lock the light. I, was, I wanted to test it. I said, what will happen if I step in front of the light? Will it pretend like you don't exist? No. The game has good lighting. It actually created a shadow. So already the game gets some points for me. Hopefully this will add to the atmosphere of the game if the lighting is realistic. Moxerus says, I'm glad you're playing this. I'll watch your first couple hours of gameplay to decide if I want to play it myself. i probably wait for a sale around Halloween time. By Halloween, a game like this will probably be like $5. Right now, it's a full 60 So I, just for the record, I have never played the original Alone in the Dark game. However, here's some trivia many of you probably don't know. There was a 2008 reboot of Alone in the Dark. It was one of the earliest games I ever played on YouTube. And yes, it's on my original Dark Side Phil channel. You can find that right now. It's that old. But since then, there hasn't been a major attempt at a, another, like, Alone in the Dark reboot <clears throat> until now. Now, what do we got here? What is that? A, a flashlight that you can wear on your chest? Yes. A flashlight clue? I would consider a flashlight a clue. It's a tool, right? Like, when we got the g kitchen garden key. Okay. Look at that. Can we spin it? No. Oh, view. We can't spin it. I want to spin it like a Resident Evil. You can inspect like the key. Nah, they don't let you. <clears throat> okay. Turn. All right. Flashlight on and off. Now, hopefully it's infinite. Hopefully it's not going to be like some annoying mechanic where you run out of juice. And you have to keep pumping batteries into the thing like Alan Wake or something. I hope not. <clears throat> What's in here? Well, it looks like they used to have horses. I don't know what happened to them. It's weird that they have a stable with a trough, but no horse. Maybe they used to keep them, but then they decided not to long term. This is this game was made by 40 people, so it was a smaller dev team. That's interesting. Whoa, it's like the dungeon. Look at this. Why is the wall like that? Uh Rats. Okay. Where they keep the zombies. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, really? What was that noise? Oh, I have a gun! Left trigger is a gun. 
<clears throat> I don't know what up is. What is that? Up. Doesn't do anything. What's the point of having that on there if it doesn't do anything? I don't know. I guess you fire with right trigger, I would assume. Let's see what the buttons are. A is nothing. X is nothing. B, nothing. Y. Crouch. Y is crouch for stealth. Okay. Left bumper. Zoom in. Left bumper zooms in. Right bumper. Absolutely nothing. What if I t press right trigger without left trigger? Nothing. <laughs> Info Grames were the original company that made the original 1 to 3 game, says John Nepper. Interesting. Jason, this is like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? It's gonna be Old Man Withers with a rubber mask on. I've already solved the mystery. What the fuck was that? Heard that? Why is it so dark at the bottom of this barrel? Look at that. It's like the light refuses to go into the barrel. It's like a haunted barrel. Ha <laughs> ha! Light refuses to go in the barrel. Look! What the heck? I've never seen anything like that before in a video game. The light just won't work there. Why did they code it like that? That's weird. Well, I think I see an old woman. Let's shoot her from a distance. See what happens. Oh, it's a statue. Never mind. I thought it was a woman. It's a statue. Nice atmosphere. Oh. Nice atmosphere so far. I like the atmosphere of the game. Oh, it's the tip. Okay, I'll check on tips in a second. Thank you. What's this? Nah, I'm not getting in there. A chained door, so I need a key or maybe a tool to smash it or something. Maybe a bolt cutter to cut the chain. Okay. What do we have? Is it? It's everything's in disrepair. You can tell no one's really taking care of this place. What we got over here some pots. Can I step on them? Oh, there's an invisible wall. I can't cross this spot right here. I wanted to step on the pot. <clears throat> Can I step on this one? No. Can I crush this plant? Can I shoot the plant? I don't want to waste ammo. It's pretty stupid. A nice garden. I like the atmosphere. What's this? You're going to hand me something? What's that? Oh. Oh. Uh... What do we have here? A hmm. bucket? A bucket. But I guess I can't reach it. it. Looks like I need a tool to reach it. There's what well, I don't know what that is in it. It's like why is it glowing? There's an item in a bucket that's glowing. Retro X says there's a game called Banishers Ghost of New Eden. It's like this story atmosphere is superb. Came out about a month ago. Same people that made Plague Tale. Isn't that um hold on. Wasn't that game? The one that we saw ads for, like, last year <clears throat> at, like, Summer Game Fest and stuff. But I, I knew it was coming out early this year, but I didn't hear about it. Hmm. So. By the way, guys, I'm just going to say this, because already cause people are spoiling. Please don't spoil anything about the game. Don't spoil the story. Don't spoil the puzzles. If I get stuck on something and I say, hey, everyone, I can't figure this out. I could use some help. Then I'll let you know. But please don't immediately start spoiling puzzles and stuff. Because it's going to just make the game pointless. Why am I playing the game if you're going to tell me how to play it, right? Okay, I'm just going to make that outright abundantly clear. And if someone does it, well, I'm going to be very upset with you. And I'm going to waggle my finger at you like this during the stream. Okay. Okay. What I'm seeing is this hose. You see that? Can we follow the hose? Can I walk any faster? I guess not. The hose went over here, but then it disappears. See that? I was going to say, could you use the hose? But it looks like it just disappears. Yeah. Can't really interact with it at all. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait. No, it comes back out over here. Look. Okay. But you can't do anything with it? No. What I'm thinking is... You use the hose, right? And eventually this is going to be an item you need to get. But I guess you can't do it yet. We're too early. Maybe you come back later, right? Okay. Mm. We're going to go inside, but before we do, I, I received two quick tips. Let me just shout these out fast. 
I got a dollar tip from he hate me super fan you mean misanthrope not nihilist come on Phil you were valedictorian you should know that uh no I didn't mean nihilist I received a dollar tip I always mean what I say I received a dollar tip from play cool or Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge is neat. If you know Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, a normal player can completely bypass it, not getting the full context. Don't read them below to chat. I already know what it is. Someone already spoiled... You have to understand, Baldur's Gate 3, people spoiled the shit out of that game. I already know all the alternate plots and things that I didn't do. They freaking... They, they spoiled it so early for me that I already know all the plots. So thank you for the tip. Okay. Here we go. Crow. I do not want to shoot the crow. We'll not just kill things for no reason. <clears throat> so, a fountain, nice fountain. It's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. It's a huge tree, actually. It looks like you're probably this is probably gonna be a puzzle later too, or something, right? Like something with the tree. Huh? What? 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 Oh, what? What did he say? Did he hear something? I didn't hear it. Did you guys hear anything? I didn't hear anything. What's this? Oh, I do hear something. I hear a voice. This. The housekeeper key. Okay. Yeah, I heard a voice talking. Whispering, like the tree is talking. Yeah, what the hell? What's it saying? It's saying... Chicken rings! Go get me some chicken rings from White Castle! Hungry! They only give me shitty fertilizer! <laughs> well... I'm assuming this is the door. What's up here? A winding staircase. Ooh, what's this? A box. What's in the box? Oh! Wait, why are there... Why, why would there be pistol bullets? In a box there. That's weird. Oh, there's even reflections. Look, it's not a perfect reflection, but there actually are reflection effects in the game, too. So far, the graphics are pretty good. Had good lighting and reflection effects. Neat. Glasses? Someone was sitting out here drinking, apparently. Jade said this is a mystery game. Is it? Well, that's good. I like mysteries. I like I like thrillers and mystery. Okay. Fuck. Housekeeper's key. Chromobis is what? You don't keep boxes of ammo just stashed around your house? Find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. Oh, it's it's something's leaking. Welcome to Dersetto. Break into Dersetto. Yeah, look. What happened here? This would be their key box. And it's like opened and some of the keys are missing. This is a mess. Don't mind if I do. I got a healing item? Oh, okay. We haven't been explained how to use it yet. I pressed up on the D-pad. It doesn't do anything yet. <clears throat> yeah, they've got a leak down here. They should probably do something about that. Oh, floor soap. Well, you did laundry back then. They didn't have washing machines. You had to take your laundry, put it in soapy water, and scrub it on a washboard like that. And that would get all the dirty shit out. And then you'd have a bucket full of dirty-ass water. How it was done back in the day. DC has a haiku for us. He says, woke up to silence. Ah, uh, scrolled off the screen. Woke up to silence. <laughs> Isolated, abandoned, trapped in the darkness. Thank you, DC, for our introductory haiku. Ooh, there's a rat. What the heck? A Bible? The family Bible. It's a Every clue. Every day, your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. Like the desert? I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against oh, us. Oh, talking to God. I've started to look for help elsewhere. 
I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. What? Voodoo magic? I've long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gree gree. <laughs> Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. An interesting take. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, uh, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Hmm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat <laughs> without horns. What the heck is going on? What a weird way to start the game. So she's she originally was the, a devout Christian, but she's turned to voodoo. Wow, that's a weird... Wow, okay. Interesting. More bullets. Who do you voodoo, bitch? They should have given me a voice acting role for the notes. Hey, it looks like I'm not gonna have to do a lot of voice acting or reading in this one. It sounds like they've they've voiced the notes, which is interesting. You don't usually see that. <clears throat> now wait a minute. Hold on a second. I gotta make myself something. That was a long drive out here. I gotta make myself like a big sandwich. Look at this. Here's some nice fresh bread. Look at that. Is that meat? I think that's meat. You cut up a nice piece of meat. Get on that nice fresh bread. Look at this. Oh, man. Ultra fresh. What we got down here? This is the good stuff. This isn't like Resident Evil 7 house where everything's rotten and shit. This is like good food, man. Look, the maestro kitchen. Oh, what's this? Oh, man. They were making some kind of... Is that chili? Looks like they were making a meat-based chili. And they just left it. Well, they're slobs. They left dirty plates here in the sink. I don't know why they didn't wash them. But I want some chili. Who wants this? Dude, that's like, that's real. That's not the Wendy's chili shit. That's the good stuff, man. Dunk your head right in there. Okay. All right? That. More bullets? More bullets. What's with. The Ooh. You'd be noises, right? You heard that? What's in the refrigerator? There's pistol bullets in the refrigerator? What? I'm not aware that you need to chill your ammo. I don't think that improves performance. <laughs> That's where we came from. So there's two ways to go. That door or this door? What's this door? <clears throat> uh, more like basement stuff. Oh god, what's this? What the hell is this, dude? There's creepy stuff going on. What is this? In a basement dungeon. Right? <laughs> Uh, this house is huge. More pistol bullets. More bullets in the fridge. We need a key. We need the key. We can't go down there. This. Street car ticket. Lagniap. What the fuck is a lagniap? Huh? Lag lagniap. What does that word mean? The Crescent City. Forbidden knowledge. What? 
<laughs> what is this? I have no idea. Lagniaps. I'm pretty sure you don't pronounce it that way. What the hell is a Lagniap? They're non-essential items you can find throughout the game. Completing sets uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Well, everyone knows I love forbidden knowledge. Yeah. What is that? What is that? I see cabbage. I don't know what the other thing is. Like a radish or something? Maybe. I love me some Lagniaps. It's pronounced Lanyap. I love Lanyaps. Give me the Lanyaps. <laughs> This way. Or land yaps. Dude. This place is like a maze. Look what's this. There's so many doors. This goes up. Alright. So let's keep investigating. Where does this go? This. Sabotage. Clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak... Only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. So someone sabotaged the boiler. Why did they do that? Oh, God. I can't do anything with it. It won't let me look. Maybe this is a puzzle for later. It looks like one of the shifting piece puzzles. But I guess we can't do it right now. It won't let me do anything with it. Yeah. That doesn't look safe. I have a broken valve. Okay. No, definitely can't get past this yet. Looks like there's something, something over there for later, but we can't do it yet. <clears throat> okay. We came from. This is how we get up into the house. So then, what's the other way? What's the other way over here? Ah, oh, the storeroom. A chest? I'm pretty sure we can't open this, right? It opened right away! What's the point of a chest if you don't protect the chest by keeping it locked? <clears throat> Lots of food on the floor here. A lanyap. Rat poison. A lanyap. Rat poison. Squeal no more. Rat and vermin killer. That's kind of cruel, no? <clears throat> a great depression. This one is part of. It looks like rat poison. A needle. I don't know what the other thing is, but are they, are they insinuating that someone's going to inject themselves with rat poison? There's also the Crescent City was what that <laughs> ticket was part what of. What was that? <clears throat> yeah, you heard that noise? Dude, take this knife with you. Do, 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 do. Well, the atmosphere of the game is, is good. I like it. Is this like Resident Evil or Silent Hill? I don't know yet. We're just exploring right now. I have no idea what it's going to be. <clears throat> Alright, let's go up into the house. No? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of doors. Look at that. Opus? Opus? The fuck? Magazine of Literature and Fine Arts. Opus. <clears throat> Doesn't open. What does that insinuate? What does that mean? Locked from the other side? Maybe? I'm not sure what that symbol means. The bathroom. My favorite room. Well, they have t TP stocked. Anything in there? Nope. Take a bath. Very fancy. It, again, it's a distorted reflection in the mirror. See that? <clears throat> What's all that noise? <laughs> Someone wrestling upstairs and fucking flipping people around? <clears throat> Land yaps. Here's a land yap. Durseto floor plans. A clue. This is our map. Oh, cool. All right. So, 
What, can we move this around? No, we can't. Oh, we have more than one floor. Okay. There's the attic. Second floor, first floor, ground floor. That's where we came from. Oh, look, there's puzzle pieces. Kitchen garden, boiler room. So I guess it's, it's telling you where there's puzzles. It's also telling you where there's locked stuff you can't get in. See that? Okay, that's neat. It's good it's going to tell us that so we know to come back and do stuff there. Okay. Wow, there's a lot in this house. A lot of a lot of rooms. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, the Piazza key. Hmm. The Mike Piazza key. Hmm. I don't think the Piazza key opens a locked medicine box. This. More healing. This. Lottie's Diary. Okay. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around. Uh -huh. So the box is just sitting there on my desk. They sent her a box without a they key They must have opening. figured we had yes. plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand park. Mm -mm. Yeah. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rock permeating the house. Strange rock? She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to her. Uh-oh. The house is alive. The house is possessed. It's like uh, Poltergeist. You ever seen that movie? <clears throat> Poltergeist is a case of a movie that the first one's great, and then the, the rest of them are like, what the fuck? But the first movie is that they didn't know that their house was built on an Indian burial ground. <clears throat> so it's basically like a haunted Decetto, house. The old plantation building was ready to fall. But kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Combi figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. The game narrates itself. It actually narrates the plot. That's interesting. I don't think that's ever happened before. In a horror game, has it? Have you ever seen a horror game that narrated itself? The Piazza key. It works. Whoa, shit! <laughs> so you could fall down here. This is where we were before. Outside. You can fall oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's blood. Wait, what? Or is it blood? Uh, yeah. There's blood here. Someone went through this and died. Or got seriously hurt. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> the crows. What's this over here? I know we're supposed to open the front door, but I'm enjoying the investigation we're doing. Have we seen this rot yet? I don't think we've actually seen the rot that's being referenced. Oh, what is this creepy room? Oh. What the heck? Forget letting her in. We're doing it ourselves. We're doing the whole investigation ourselves. Oh, we don't mm. have a key. I need the key. <clears throat> What's this? The Picayuni Post. Blue. The Great Depression. Oh. President Hoover raises tariffs <laughs> on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Aha! Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. This is the Great Depression Thousands era. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition. 
Superstition on rise. Voodoo! New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. <laughs> While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. Hmm. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Interesting. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Oh, okay, that's where we Dorsetto are. Dorsetto Hospital <clears throat> is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto... Treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. Huh. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. We just, I mean, that's a lot of information to absorb. We're in the Great Depression, voodoo is on the rise. And apparently there's an author staying at Dersetto, and isn't this Dersetto? That's where we are, right? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, wow, a ton of items here. What's this? A rubber stamp lanyap. This one is from Lost Children. Okay. Bell? What happens when we... Oh, we don't have the key, right? I need the key. If we ring the bell. So what if we ring mm. the bell? I need the key. Here. Oh, he put his hand down. Look at that. He put his hand down on the counter. I mean, it fused with the, the notepad. That probably shouldn't have happened, but... I need no the one key. Here. What kind of service is this? Tick tock, what's with the claw? Another door I can't open. What does it what does it imply when you get to a door like that? See, what does that symbol mean? <clears throat> it says bolted door. So it probably is insinuating you can open it from the other side. Okay. Got it. There's blocked, there's bolted, there's locked. There's all kinds of different doors in the game. Okay. Oh. Big talk, what's on the claw? <laughs> okay, cool. A little bust. <clears throat> Oh, there's a bear! Don't worry, I took... What happened? A cutscene. Oh, that was the door? Oh. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse Shooter! Me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. Fire! I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I told you. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. What? Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? Whoa, they're like appearing out of she thin air. Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's <clears throat> right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah. Uh -oh. Who's your man again? He's probably Ms. ghost. Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee. Keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. 
Jeremy has gone missing. Oh. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. Huh. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in this room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be the screen. <laughs> in the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. <laughs> we'll just see ourselves up there. That you're so unhelpful. Whoa, abstract art much? <clears throat> okay. Clue vibes? I mean, it's definitely a mystery, but it's going to be supernatural, too, so that's cool. All right. Here we are. Interesting room. Let's look around. <clears throat> Full of art. See if we can dig up any clues. <clears throat> so I guess our uncle's an artist. We didn't even know that. Yeah. Look at the room. Search Jerry's room for clues. Okay. Uh, I received a $5 tip. From Dan the Man. What's up, Dan? Good to have you here. How is it going? I hope that you're uh, doing well. And uh, thank you so much for the contribution. <clears throat> If it ever plays. Hmm. I'll see if it plays in a second. It looks like it's glitching. Great. Page is probably lagging up. Oh, it played. There you go. It was laggy. Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dan the Man. <clears throat> well, certainly if I uh, if we reach the hat goal today, I should probably wear the red fedora because it'll match his hat, except mine's bright red, right? I kind of want a regular fedora like his. I like that hat. All right, we don't have the steamer trunk key yet. <clears throat> hmm. What's this? Uh, a locked box. Looks like it's another one of these sliding puzzles. Can't do anything with it. Nope. He was making, wow, he was making clay sculptures that are all like dead bodies. Skull, there's like a, a zombie or something. Although that's a bear, that one's nice. This. A woman. What is, I wonder what he was painting, but it's covered. If we remove that, it should be something, like, gory and disgusting. This book. The Commonplace Book Clue. Every night the dark man stands <laughs> opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Uh, it sounds like he's going nuts or someone's stalking him. He looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life. Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? Oh. I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarraway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi? Back from the beyond. What's he talking about? <laughs> Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. <clears throat> Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall weep. What the holy hell is he talking about? There's more? Oh my god. I guess you could play. I'm just going to read this because it'll be faster. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know about the battered boiler in the basement? would lead me to the cemetery. Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance of ever so small for me to see Teruella? I want to see that more than anything. Please let my ta talisman take me there. <clears throat> let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I have to travel to Tonkere or Tonker, Instead, she cruelly told Batiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear? What is going on? <clears throat> he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. 
People of Derseto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried to talk to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and, not, and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter the world. All will be lost. Everything. <clears throat> Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waits. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard? The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered a dark pact. Everyone is safe except for me. And then a bunch of symbols... The symbol in the upper left looks like the symbol, similar to the symbol that was on the boiler, but I don't recognize any of the others. So I wonder if this book is going to be something that helps us over the course of the game. Like, this is a bunch of clues for puzzles, probably. Huh. And we got a painted tile, key item. Painted wooden tile, the motif suggests, is being part of a larger picture, like this over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, slide puzzle. Right? No, it's a puzzle where you just swap pieces. Okay. What do we have here? Okay. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? What are we doing? I want to kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Painting? No, this is not a telltale game. No, no, no. Survival horror. There will be horror coming. This is the build up, I'm sure, the intro. Oh, wow. That's striking. Uh, wow. I want to save this one. Oh my god, he's terrified. That looks like Willem Dafoe a bit. Reflections on the power of the something certain. I can't read it. He has like a talent in his hand. All right. Ringing. Come on. What's with the ringing? Go see Dr. Gray. Whoa. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, I haven't watched wrestling in four years, for the record. I keep telling people this, but they keep asking me about wrestling. Miss Hartwood. <laughs> uh oh. Emily. She just disappeared out of nowhere. Okay. What the hell is going on? Where am I? Whoa! It changed. Where is he now? He's in a city. What the heck? Okay, that's very weird. Investigate the corner store? He was teleported to a city. Look at this. And the music got all snazzy and like <clears throat> old timey. Still don't have the key for this. The steamer trunk. What's this? More ammo. I have 25 bullets and 5 healing items. I get the feeling we're going to be fighting now. Okay. Whoa, bugs. Ew. The bugs went running. Did you see that? Uh, that's a creepy picture of Christ. He's squirting blood. Ew. Who knew that Jesus was a squirter? Can't... Oh, I can't go in this door because there's a broom in front of it. We all know how hard it is to move brooms. No way we can do that. Where the hell did we go? teleported <laughs> oh something over here or ammo ew what's that noise the mac the the macabin macabin the macabin nightclub oh there's definitely enemies out here you could hear them <clears throat> 
Oh, look at this guy. Okay, hold on. Stealth. Can we take him out with stealth? What the fuck? Oh, shit! You fucking piece of shit! Ah! Shitty fuck! Shit fuck! Ah! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh, come on! <laughs> I wasn't ready for this! Fuck it! Dude, he's fat as shit! Get the fuck down! Oh, I popped his head! God damn, dude! Christ! What the hell was that? <laughs> that was a hell of an introduction to the combat! Jesus! Scared me, man! Look, his hand came off! Ew, when you kill him! He, like, just fuses into the stairs. Jeez. Is there any kind of, uh... Is there any kind of melee attack in the game? They haven't explained that yet. Oh, God, looks blood... Oh! Blood all over the wall. There's the other one I killed. Ew. So what were they? Mold men? They look like Swamp Thing. Just less roided. Swamp Thing without the steroids. Geesh, that was, uh, interesting. Interesting introduction. Alright, well. Oof. Alone in the dark, with a load in your pants. <laughs> a full-on dump deposited in the drawers. Okay, well, we have multiple ways to go here. Man, it's hard to see with all this fog. I can't see shit. Item here. Boy. You can't go that way. Got some ammo in the trash can. They're saying you can't go through the fog. What happens if you try? Nothing. Invisible wall. Okay. Oh, it is dark indeed. More ammo? Just in a random box. Ooh, what's that noise now? I don't want to go too fast because I got surprised the by the other one. Going on? The other enemies. Whoa. Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap right trigger quickly to throw it. Hold to aim. Why would I want to throw this? What am I throwing? Oh, nobody here. No parking. U.S. mail. I can't sprint. I can't sprint. I'm holding this stupid thing. Here. I can toss it something. First aid. No, it says you're full. Okay, I'll drink it then. Okay, now I can replenish. Cool. There's. Do you think there's melee? Yeah, I don't know. You think there's melee attacks? So far, I don't know how. I haven't explained that yet. Johnny the Conqueror. Shells, bones, gree gree, candles, plants, fetishes, crystals. So this is a voodoo shop. It is a voodoo store. Get in. You can ring the bell. <laughs> can we go inside or is it locked? Oh, you go in. Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine. <clears throat> I agree, the atmosphere is nice. I like the atmosphere of the game. Uh oh, oh my god. Don't let them get inside, Conbear. They're not the good guys. Holy shit. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? Pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. Huh? I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? Hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. <laughs> Are you a thinking man, Compare? No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace. Got some. Huh. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess. You know surprising things, Compare. 
Yeah, the Mama Loa. Here, take the key. Uh. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you could find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Batiste's keys, key item. So he, that was Batiste. We, he'd been referenced in the book. There are three keys on the chain. One will open Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. There's two belonging to Dersetto. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay, so we'll have other things to open once we get back to Dersetto. You know what's weird? It says there are three keys on the chain. But take a look. There's four keys on the chain. You notice that, right? It lied. It lies about itself in its own description. Someone says, why does he remind me of the guy from the Green Mile? Uh, you mean Michael Clark Duncan? I don't know, because he's a, a big African-American guy. Only thing I can think, he doesn't sound like him. What's this? Preserved Reptile. Lan Yap. This is from A Goat Without Horns, which we read reference to in that Bible that we picked up. <clears throat> this. My foot's in it. I put my foot in... <laughs> he put his foot inside the chest. What did he do that for? Look. <laughs> he wants to be stylish. He's trying to, like, pose. Put his foot in the chest. All right, this goes back outside. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, look. This. More ammo. Stuff everywhere. Even more ammo. Talk to him again. You want to come along? Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. Wow. Well, at least he was helpful. Thank you, Arcade Cup, for a super chat. Oh, uh, oh, I thought you could do something with that, but and this door doesn't open at all, apparently. Okay. I guess we're going down the street with this new key that he gave us. We don't have a map anymore, right? <laughs> oh no, your map is of no use here. Instead, a big coffee stain. <laughs> Thank you, Arcade Cup. Well, so far, I'm really, gonna be honest with you guys. I really like this game. It's interesting. It's a it's a good a good plot. It's a mystery. There's already a supernatural element. There's already enemies. Uh, this is pretty pretty good so far, right? I like the atmosphere. So so far, so good. I hope that you guys are enjoying. I think I'll uh, split the part here. So hey, if you like the playthrough so far of Alone in the Dark, please consider giving the video uh, a like if you're watching it on demand. Uh, thanks to everyone here. You've been a great audience so far for the first hour. Uh, perhaps consider, if you're watching this on demand, doing maybe like a super thanks on the video if you like it. And I'll see you in the next part as we continue on our exploration of wherever the heck we are. Supposedly, Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man, and we've been sucked into an alternate world. Okay. All right. We'll continue.